Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I'm back with another Boho Berry box unboxing for you. Now, you might have missed me last month. I did not do an unboxing for the January box, and if you're a subscriber, then you know why. We had a delay on one of our items, and I didn't feel right unboxing a box that didn't have everything in it that it was supposed to. So long story short, everyone did end up getting their extra item. However, I just didn't feel right doing the unboxing, especially after December 31st when the box wasn't even available for purchase anymore. That being said, I decided to just let it go and move on with the February unboxing, which is this box right here. So as always, if you're a subscriber and you like to be surprised as to what's in your box, probably skip this for now and come back and watch it later. But without further ado, we're gonna check out February. Now I'm gonna say before I open this that this is one of my favorite boxes. We did kind of the same theme last year. We changed it up a little bit this year, but February is one of my favorite months because it is Incorimo. And Incorimo is short for International Correspondence Writing Month. And the goal of Incorimo is to write and mail a letter every single day during the month of February. So this box is filled with goodies. They're gonna help you do just that. All right, let's open her up, I'm so excited. Okay, so as always, we have the insert in your little vellum envelope. I'm not gonna read it all because we're gonna go through it all here, but it does detail everything that's inside for you. And let's get into the goodies. All right, so right when you open her up, the first thing you're gonna see is a stencil. Now I created this stencil for you to have some fun making some kind of Happy Mail themed layouts in your journal or planner. So we have that little stencil here. Up next, we're continuing the theme of Happy Mail and Snail Mail. So these are just some little Happy Mail stickers. These are all kiss cut as always, so you can peel those, stick them, and they are on matte white sticker paper so you can color these in when you put them into your journal or planner. Up next we have our February sampler. Now I did mention in the past and I didn't get to show this off in the January box but we've changed up the habit tracker and sampler this year in our boxes. We got a lot of great feedback that y'all would prefer the tracker and sampler to be a exclusive to the box you can't buy them in the shop and b that they kind of fit the theme of the month. So this is our February sampler, and as you can see, we've got some mail stickers and a little tracker for your Incorimo, if you're participating, that you sent a letter every day in the month of February. So that's your sampler sheet. Up next, we have our habit tracker, which again, this is custom. You can't get this in the shop, uh, but it does have room for all of your habits, and it also fits within our little happy mail theme of the month. And then I designed, just like I did last year, a little greeting card for you. This is an A7 greeting card. You can color this in and pop it in the mail to whoever you want as one of your letters for Ingo Rimo, or you can just use it anytime you want. But I thought it was really cute, so we've got that in the envelope. And now we're gonna get into my favorite part <laughs> of this box. Uh, first of all, this is an ink sample. And this is gonna make a lot more sense here in a few minutes. But Goulet Pens was nice enough to supply us with some ink samples for our box this month. And these actually came in two colors, so it's gonna be a random draw which color you get. This is Noodler's Liberty's Elysium, which is one of my favorite inks because it was a collab between Goulet Pens and Noodler's. It's exclusive to Goulet Pens. And it's just a really, really pretty blue. The other color that you could possibly get is Navajo turquoise, which is just a really, really pretty turquoise blue and one of my favorites as well. So it's gonna be a random draw which one you get, but you will get a little ink sample. All right, now the coup d'etat for this box. Is coup d'etat the right word for that? I'm <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, so forgive me if that's not the right, right uh, usage of that word. But let's move this big box out of the way and check out this pretty teal box, y'all. I am super excited about what's inside here, and I hope you will be too. So let's open her up. Here we go. And we have a glass 
dip pen. It comes with this little protective sleeve on it. It also comes with a tiny little ink well that you can put your ink in while you're writing, which I think is just absolutely adorable. And it comes with a little stand to rest your pen on. So let me move the box out of the way. And we've got our little pen rest here that we can lay our pen on and our little ink well. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so in love with this little ink well. I think I might like it more than the pen and I love dip pens, but it's just so adorable and tiny. I just can't get over it. Okay, so I just wanna show you real quick how this works. Uh, let me grab a notebook. First of all, I'm just going to grab this is a Claire Fontaine French ruled notebook, but obviously you can use any paper here. All right, and I'm going to take my Noodler's Liberty Elysium. And the reason you want to use the ink well, I already got ink on my finger, is because it's really hard to get your dip pen down into this little sample vial. So you want to just put your ink into your little ink well. It's so cute, I love it so much. Okay, and you can do this with any ink that you have. Because it's a dip pen, you don't have to worry about whether it's fountain pen friendly or a calligraphy ink. You could even do this with like some saturated watercolor. Um, really anything, any kind of ink that you wanna put into your little ink well here. So basically, you just wanna dip and if your inkwell isn't super full, you might wanna tilt it a little bit so you can get the tip nice and saturated and then kind of drag it on the edge to make sure there's not too much ink going on and then just write as normal. So let's see, I'm gonna write my name. And this is a really fine tipped dip pen. So you're gonna be able to get pretty tiny writing. And I'm sorry that I'm so shaky. I just had like two cups of coffee this morning. All right, there we go. And what's really cool is this pen, because it has kind of these spirally grooves in it, it holds quite a bit of ink. So you can get quite a bit of writing out of just one dip. And if you find that it starts skipping or anything like that, which it hasn't really yet, um, all you do is just rotate the pen around and that ink will keep flowing and flowing. And as you can see, I can probably get quite a few lines. It does get a little bit thinner as you write. So if you wanna maintain your line thickness, you might wanna dip a little bit more often but oh gosh I love this blue it's such a pretty pretty color but as you can see I mean I'm going and going and going here and my pen has not run out of ink so you can write for quite some time just keep rotating if it starts to feel a little bit dry and you'll know when you've run out of ink um, but this is just <laughs> it's going and going and going this one holds a lot a lot of ink. So you can write for quite some time. It's really fun to write letters with this sort of dip pen. I have a few of them actually, but this is actually my favorite so far because the nib is so fine. I feel like I can write more in my regular handwriting. Uh, I have another glass dip pen that's a little bit thicker and I use it to kind of keep track of my ink samples. There we go, see now it's finally dried up. Um, but I use, I use it to keep track of my ink samples and it just writes a lot thicker. So that's really all I use it for because I don't want to write letters with it. Uh, and when you're done, it's really, really easy to clean up. I don't have water here with me, but you just dip it in some water and kind of wipe it down with a paper towel and you're good to go. So you can store it back in your box, clean out your inkwell. You can pour this back into your sample vial very carefully I might add and just rinse this out with water and store everything nice and neat back in your box and that is this month's box y'all so let's take a look again at everything all together so you can check it out we have our greeting card for this month we have our habit tracker our monthly sampler our happy mail stickers and our happy mail stencil and then my absolute favorite, we have our glass dip pen set. So we have our little inkwell, 
our pen stand, our pen, and your sample of ink from Goulet Pens. So that is gonna do it for this month's box. I hope you love it as much as I do. I cannot wait to use some of these goodies and I can't wait to see what you all do with them. If you have any questions, as always, drop them down below. If you are not subscribed to the Boho Berry Box and would like to be, definitely check us out at bohoberrybox.com. And as always, for those of you that are subscribers, don't forget that we do have a digital library each and every month where we post digital and printable stickers, trackers, everything that you see in the box. We try to format somehow digitally for you so that you can keep using those over and over and over again. All right, y'all. I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.